In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the process of how I make my own clothes label. This is the simplest method ever and it makes my work stand out is what I've been using. Now that I've been able to purchase it press, I'm doing it myself. So I'm going to be showing you how I did it. This is what you can put on your hoodies, on your t-shirt, on your ready to wear. So let's begin with it. What do we need? We are going to be needing ribbon. So this ribbon now, uh, it comes in different sizes. So you, it depends on how big your own and cloth label is. You know, we have different sizes of cloth label. So I choose these two sizes for mine. So these are the sizes I usually use. And this is sublimation paper. So I have my artwork or my logo on it already. The shape that I want. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to cut it out. Yes, it's usually this clumsy and then you can place it on the ribbon like that. So I have to trim it out. This method has been working well for me. Although before I usually give it out because I do not have it pressed. But now that I've been able to purchase it pressed, it's something I'll be able to do myself. Yes, some people uh, use woven uh, label. But I want to say that if you are just a starter, you really do not need to uh, begin to stress yourself in investing a lot of money in all these things. Simple, simple touches to your brand makes it stand out. Well, that is what I have imbibed in my own and it has worked for me so well. It is not all about buying all this expensive label or branding it in expensive ways that makes you sell. No, but the your finishing, the uniqueness of your brand, that is what makes it stand out. Um, putting these small small touches to my brand is what has makes it so unique. You know, when I put it on my t-shirts, you know, it, it makes it stand out. Even if you use woven label, <laughs> you can't say that um, yours is more better than mine. <laughs> of course, it's it's more cheaper, but uh, brand now, brand now. <laughs> Until we reach that stage of where we can also be able to purchase it in an expensive way. If there's anything I'm teaching you on this channel is to begin with the little that you have around you. Yes, before I was able to purchase it press, I usually do this outside. They do it for me. Yes, I was not limited by, oh, because I don't have it press, I can't do it. So, but now that I... I've been able to purchase it press. I know what to use my it press for. <laughs> um, now the next thing to do is to cut out the ribbon. Uh, note that this ribbon comes in different sizes, and it depends on how big you want your cloth label to be. If you want it to be wider than this, fine, it's good for you. But you know, this is the type of uh, label that they put um, at the neck, at the back neck of your ready to wear t shirt hoodies, sweatshirts, and the likes of it. Anything you want to brand. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it doesn't have to be too big, but some people like it bold. You'll see in some cases it's bold, while you see in some cases it's tiny, okay? So I'm just um, placing the ribbon on on the plate of my it press and I'm going to just go ahead and arrange it. In some cases, if you don't want to manage paper, all this content may not really be necessary because they will have put the space for you. But in that case, <laughs> that means it's going to, um, the number of the tags is going to be, you know, fewer. You understand because there will be space on the paper okay so i prefer it let them mix it together like this let it clump together i will trace it out myself okay, you understand so i'll just go ahead and place it this is 
one of the tedious part of it placing it on the ribbon because you want it to be straight uh, you want it to place it very well so imagine doing like 500,000 or be 5,000 okay imagine you're doing like 5,000 of this you know doing you have to stand up to arrange it on the on the uh, each plate like this and you have to make sure it's straight that is just the work that is in it <laughs> but i enjoy doing it myself okay so uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I've already set my timer to um, 200. It's going to go. It's going to 200, and then one minute. Okay, so it's one minute because it's sublimation. Sublimation most of the time is usually one minute. If it is DTF now within 10 seconds, okay, it's going to be done. But with sublimation, one minute is fine, and after a minute. This is what we have, okay? So I decided to just do little at this time. Then the next batch is going to be much. Look at what we have. See, the video is really not doing justice to this thing. This thing looks so beautiful. Like, it's usually like that, so beautiful. And because of the colors that I choose, you can see I have different colors of it. And it makes it so beautiful, so nice. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do the rest. Um, someone told me that I can reuse these papers. So I'm going to be trying it out and see how it's going to look like. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be nice, but I'm going to try it out. So I just went ahead to cut and place it on the heat press. Um, if you are interested in getting this from me, is available but the least you can get is 100 okay you can get 100 is something that will make your work stand out it's very very much cheaper than woven um tags so this one is much cheaper than it so you can start with this if you are interested in all these um ready to wear you're going into t-shirt branding Woody branding and whole this is something that instead of you putting somebody else's um tag on your clothes or her clothes label on your you know you sometimes you buy t-shirts here in Nigeria you'll be seeing made in China <laughs> instead of that why don't you start with your own brand put your you know it's gradual thing now um house is not built in a day right so it's a gradual thing just Put your own label. Don't be shy of it. Um, your contact is there. Let people be able to reach you. You don't know who will need your service. And with this simple, simple hack, this simple, simple uh, label is something that will make it stand out. So I usually do this G. Okay, this G is just for um, if, I'm, if I make like a uh, cap, um, because I make all these fascinators, caps. So I just, you know, find a way of sewing it um towards inside of it instead of it uh, instead of having it uh, in that big way so that g is just like a signature for me okay i also have smaller sizes of it also so this is the reuse the paper that i've used before so let's see how it's going to look like is it going to work again <laughs> since they say you can use it twice so let's see how it's going to be but definitely to me i don't think it's going to work <laughs> yeah so after arranging it i'm also going to set my timer to one minute and then we'll see how it's going to look like okay so if you are interested in buying and uh, this from me you can just check the description box below and uh, to chat with me okay so uh, if you want to learn how to make uh, clothes tag okay clothes tag is different from clothes label this clothes label is usually inside the cloth okay why the clothes tag is the one that hangs outside um and is usually in um paper form okay so paper form but this one is usually in clothes or woven or satin or ribbon like uh, um um, form okay so because you're going to stitch it onto the clothes itself okay so you can see what we have 
see how beautiful it is so the one they say we should reuse this is a no 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 <laughs> no it's not going to work it's not going to work okay wow wow it's so beautiful and so nice this thing is hot <laughs> yeah so the usefulness of this is this one will be what um the it will be on the cloth permanently okay unlike the cloth tag that before they wear it the customer wear it they have to remove it okay they just say that it's a cloth tag that you use to sell the product okay and this cloth label is what you use as a referral for you <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Because at least when your customer is seeing the clue tag on on your product and be like, wow, oh, this is nice and her, then your customer gets to will remove it, definitely. And then this one will stay on the clue permanently. It will stay, yeah. And this is what we have. Look at this. This is a no-no for me. And this got the new one. I, I said the picture. This video is not doing justice to this video because huh, it's so beautiful and it's usually like that. It's so beautiful. You can see the remaining one in print <laughs> on my satin. So I just went ahead to also. Do, I have some tiny, tiny ones too that I usually do too in case I want to put it on the outer outer part of the product. Okay. And this is what we have. This is so beautiful, so unique. Yes, you don't. The woven um, clue tag is also there, but this is more cheaper. You understand? If you are the type that you are looking for a way to brand your products or to start your business in a more cheaper way, you can go for this. Okay, you can go for this. Hundred of these. And you can get it for me 200 500 but you can't get lesser than 100 sure you understand with 100 you can start with with your product you brand it it becomes a branded one hmm? it becomes a branded one some some people why they've not started is because they are waiting to start big okay i always preach this on this channel start with what you have start with what you have i hope you've been able to gain anything from this video i enjoy making this video <laughs> at least to show you the process of how i do my custom clothes label don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and i would like to hear your comments in the comment section below do you like it if you like it just say it's lovely oh this is beautiful if you are interested in getting just say ah, i will be contacting you soon <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. My screen printing class is still available. And clothes tag class is still available. And our uh, support group is also still available. All the detail is in the description box below. Bye.